it's tournament day. We are heading up to Portland to my youngest son's football tournament, seven on seven tournament today. And actually my 17 year old is going to join us. He's never gone on any of these little excursions with us. So, but this one is pretty close to home. It's only about an hour and 45 minutes away. So should be a lot of fun. Sorry, turned off the camera for a second there. My puppy decided that our little like, I don't know what brand it is, Eufy, but it's like a Roomba vacuum type thing with those little round ones that go around and clean the floor for you. She, for some reason, thinks that that's like her little friend. She's constantly setting it off and uh, trying to play with it. But anyway, here we are. Now she's outside getting into things she shouldn't. Can't even see her, but it is pitch black out there. So there's that. Today's little bag for Lathan. We've got his little mouth guard here, his extra jersey. We bought this heated hand warmer. I got it for him for Christmas. It was on clearance for like 30 bucks on QVC. And it's heated, it's rechargeable, all of that. And it's absolutely amazing, he loves it. But it's supposed to be cold and potentially rainy, so he's got his little, looks like a ski mask thing. And his little battle gloves. So, and then he's got his tracksuit, that's his jacket, and then my camera bag here full of all of our camera stuff because I take pictures at all of his tournaments. Right there's the man of the hour. Good morning guys, it is the next day. Today is Sunday. I gotta let Asha out to go to the bathroom real quick. I'm just getting up and moving for the day. We go back up to Portland today for day two of tournament. So I'll take you guys with us on that. It's actually in a town called Sherwood. It's just south of Portland. Um, we just call it Portland because it's easier, I guess. But anyway, I, once we get home, have a lot of chores I need to catch up on because I haven't been home all weekend and so laundry and dishes and all of that need to be attended to. But real quick, we have some exciting things out in the laundry room um, with seeds that are starting to come up. Some have come up really well. Some of them are not coming up at all. So I'm going to give um, the two trays that are lacking, I'm going to give them a couple more, or not a couple more weeks. I'm going to give them one more week, and if nothing sprouts out of those, um, I am going to start some new seeds in their place. So plus I need to start tomato seeds. Um, I was hoping to get to it this weekend, but I just haven't been home, haven't had time, so that's not going to happen. But anyway, let me flip you around here real quick and show you the seeds that are sprouting so far. We've got quite a few spicy peppers sprouted so far and some giant um, Marconis. So yay, exciting. All right, guys, over here, these little guys here, these are the early jalapenos. But as you can see, we've got quite a few starting to finally come up. They took a little while and I think it's because I've never started seeds in my laundry room before. Um, it's a little bit cooler in here than the rest of the house. And normally I, I have my grow shelf like in the dining room or the uh, or in the corner of the living room. And well, not this year. I thought I'd try it out here, but it's taken everything a little bit longer to germinate. So might have to rethink it for future. But these over here that are starting to come up, look at that little guy right there. If it'll focus, it's not going to. Anyway, these are the Craig's Grande jalapenos. But there's quite a few of those guys going. And then these are the giant Marconis. And we've got quite a few of those guys. It doesn't want to focus, does it? <laughs> anyway, got quite a few of those guys going. There we go. Um, and then over here, for some reason, our Broccoli Rob isn't really doing a whole lot. There's that guy there and that one over there. And that's kind of 
kind of it for right now. So those might get replanted. And these up here were our Korean peppers and none of those are doing anything special either. So, and then up here is our habanero, obviously nothing growing there. And all of these back here were supposed to be bells, but it was an old seed packet. So I'm thinking that they just aren't working out for us. So that's okay. At least we gave them a shot and now we know and we'll do something different. But anyway, pretty exciting. Um, there's, there's that. So anyway, guys, that is what we have going on so far. So I am going to, I don't know, it depends on when we get home. Our tournament starts today. We have to be up there at 10. So it depends on when we get back if I have time to start some tomatoes. I also have some tomato seeds I ordered. Um, I really like um, Barry's Crazy Cherry tomatoes. They're like these... I don't even know how to explain the shape of them. They got a weird shape, but they're yellow. Um, and they are the size of like a cherry kind of grape style tomato. They're really sweet, really good, and so prolific. Um, I'm waiting for those seeds to show up sometime this week. So if I can't get to starting some of the tomatoes this week, then it'll be fine. We can wait till next week. And so anyway, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Ooh, look at my, see, my pile of laundry, all of our travel gear right here, and then our pile of laundry on the dining room table. Anyway, never ending, especially when you have a house full of people. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to go shower. I just finished my first cup of coffee for the day. I'm going to go shower and then maybe get some chicken marinating for dinner. I think I'm going to throw some chicken on the smoker when we get back, again, depending on how late we're there. Our first game doesn't start until 11, and it's elimination round, so it could go for a long time. It could be very short, <laughs> so it just really depends. Yesterday, we didn't do so good, so I'm hoping the boys bring it today and are a little more alive and with it today. The puppy's chasing her tail. <laughs> anyway, well, guys, I suck at um, vlogging this weekend. I am still half asleep this weekend. Killed me. I am wore out. Anyway, it is now Monday morning. I didn't film anything for the rest of the day yesterday. It was so stinking busy. We had a really good day though. We ended up losing to the number one seed in the tournament. So it is what it is. Um, I think we played really, really well yesterday. The boys did fantastic. So we were there for a few hours and then went with some of our friends and family over to a place called Just Fo You um, to get some pho for lunch before coming home. Um, it was delicious, this tiny little restaurant, but um, the service was really good, the food was really good, so we had a good time there. And then everybody else went to ice cream, I believe, afterwards, but we were exhausted and just wanted to come home, came home, got um, the chicken on the smoker. It turned out phenomenal, so I need to go get some of the seasoning I used on that, again, because it was the first time we used this one, and it was made by McCormick. Um, I can't show it here because I only have the one package. <laughs> and so next time I get some, I'll show you guys what it is. But um, it turned out so stinking good. So we just had chicken and salad last night, kept it simple. And then I went to bed. I was exhausted. I didn't get to bed till late though because the smoker decided to have an attitude last night or something. And it kept, it wouldn't, um, the, flame, the smoke wouldn't stop. So I was too paranoid to go to bed until obviously until that stopped because I didn't want to set the house on fire so anyway happy Monday hope you guys have a great week uh we just have a bunch of practice and I'm hoping maybe one day this week I can get to seed starting but um if not we have next weekend too I'm also hoping to take my youngest son up to Woodburn Outlets which is about an hour away from here north of here just above Salem, Oregon. Um, they have Outlet Mall there. They have a Nike and an Under Armour and he needs some t-shirts. And I know right now they have like their, uh, the Under Armour store has like their stretchy sports t-shirts, like two for 25 right now. And that's actually a really good price. So, and he could use those underneath his football gear. So anyway, probably take him up there to do that. 
but mostly, you like my mess on the table back here behind me? I need to really clean that up and put that away. Mm. Anyway, um, mostly coming on here just to close out this video and to say I suck at vlogging this weekend. So anyway, have a great week, you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.